Welcome back guys, it's Dr. Somji. And I'm Dr. Solomon. Today we're going to be talking about a treatment that was one of the first doctors to start injecting, and it's Profilo. Profilo. And we do a lot of it, like we don't even need to really talk about it because patients come in for Profilo, it's a highly sought after, after treatment, it's a biostimulator, so it basically obviously just rejuvenates the skin. And it's really for patients that want a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of freshening within the skin, but without traditional dermal filler. So they don't want to look puffy. So what is Profilo? So Profilo is hyaluronic acid. It, is, it consists of the same hyaluronic acid you have in fillers that you traditionally associate with volumizing, with contouring, with projection of facial tissue. The difference in Profilo is you have a very high concentration hyaluronic acid, in fact, the highest concentration of any hyaluronic acid. Absolutely. But it's also very, very uh, watery. It's a very soft filler. Um, in fact, it's not cross-linked. And cross-linking filler, the more cross-linked it is, think of a scaffold, and think of a scaffold that sort of is swaying in the wind, and you put some platforms across it and it stabilizes that scaffold. Profilo has none of those cross-linking, so it's actually very mobile, and as a result of that, it stays under the skin, crawls under the skin, and because of its high concentration of hyaluronic acid, will draw water in, and that is actually what Profilo predominantly um, achieves. It, it's a hydrating, non-projecting, non-volumizing filler. Yep, so as some of you guys will know if you look at some of the previous videos in our channel, one of the first people to be injected with Profilo in the UK was, was your mother. my mom. <laughs> okay. And she loved that because she said to me that she didn't want to look too puffy, she just wanted that bit of hydration. She told me it made her look like she had a facial for a good longer period of time, so the effects of a facial lasting. And that's basically what Profilo does. Yeah. It doesn't fill in lines, doesn't plump, uh, it doesn't lift faces. But what it does is just give you that almost like a dewy glow. So anything else that people say that it gives you, it can't do that. Yes, because hyaluronic acid is a precursor to collagen synthesis mm. within the skin, you can increase collagen only a little bit, but it's not going to stimulate that fibroblast, the, the, the molecule yeah. within skin that produces collagen is not going to stimulate it to produce a lot. Yeah. So, you know, I did call it collagen stimulation, but really it isn't. It's just a hydration. So it's like an injectable moisturizer. Exactly that. And that's exactly what we tell patients. It's an injectable moisturizer and it's not volumizing. Um, it will sort of give that sort of glow to the skin for a few weeks to a few months. Yeah, uh, it is relatively safe compared to fillers because dermal fillers, because obviously it's less viscous, but that doesn't mean that you can't get an intravascular injection. For some reason, a lot of like unqualified people are injecting Profilo thinking that it's safe, but it's still a viscous substance. So you have to be really careful where you inject it. And we're gonna do a live injection so you can actually see how, what well, was the safest way to do it and also, my kind of like I've got the longest years of like experience with Profilo and I do inject it slightly differently for each different patient I don't use the same five points that everyone uses um, and that is really quite crucial because you can inject Profilo deep in muscle and still get a stimulation because you're injecting hyaluronic acid there. Mm -hmm. so um, there's many different advantages it's in a family of products called skin boosters and if you click to another video when we talk about different skin boosters that are available this profile is probably the lightest out of all of them. So it's the most subtle. There are some that are a little bit more stronger and long lasting. And if you're interested in that, like I said, just scroll down our playlist and uh, you'll find it there. So if we have a look at the face, we'll look at these, these you call it the bioactive. The bioactive points. points, in fact. Right. So, I mean, look, they are loosely defined. So they were there to make this treatment, like I always say, idiot proof. I like idiot proof stuff because when you're under pressure and you don't know what you you know, you're kind of lose focus, you want to make sure that you're doing things right. But look, this point around the eyes, they said, you know, certain distance from, from the orbital rim. And that's obviously helping the skin, the thinner skin around this area. Just remember that the skin is super, super thin around this region. So people always inject this too deep and they get a problem. So smile for me, more cheesy smile. Can you see she's got contraction at the upper aspect? So the normal bioactive point is probably around here, but for this patient in particular, it's actually a lot higher. So you'd actually inject a little bit higher within this region, yeah. okay? So that's one of the reasons why you'd have a less, slightly different area. The other bioactive point, which is just in front of this tracus over here, so it's, um, just again, smile. We see no, not much contraction within that region at all. So I actually say with this patient, what's the point? 
of putting an injection point within this area because she has beautiful um, skin texture within that region. There's no issue. We're not yeah. going to put anything there, okay? But what I like to do in younger patients is look at what we call the beautification point. So this is how you can beautify a patient with Profiler and it's a slightly different point. So I take the tail of the brow coming down like this and then I take this mid tragal line, yeah? So it's just in the middle of that area. Around this point is your beautification point. So it's, it's just about there, just in the middle. And actually over here from deep to superficial, you can inject the hyaluronic acid. And guess what? You get a little bit of a raise like that, yeah. which just looks fantastic. And so it's the actual hyaluronic acid and the injection into the muscle that causes that lift. And we call it, we call it myomodulation. You call it myomodulation, yeah. <laughs> in fact, I got so excited about that. that yeah, I, I mean, you did get pretty excited about that, to be honest. But there's, there's things that if you're just gonna be in this temporal region, you will cause myomodulation and lifting of the face. So I think Cotofano um, looked at kind of temple injections. Um, I think late in what, 2018, he established that injections in the temple have a big effect into the midpoint. So the higher you inject, the better. Obviously in this area, you're gonna define this beautification point. It's not gonna fill it, but it's gonna give you that little bit of lift that in a younger patient you wanna do. That's exactly what we want. In this mid portion, we're gonna look at um, this mid area where obviously people have kind of laxity, but also open pores within that region mm -hmm. and may wanna improve that. So where do you put your injection point in this area? Well, often I usually go into the sort of triangular point. I usually triangulate it from the mid pupil line. Yeah. Um, I tend to look for the area where you see the most depression in that area as well. Yeah, okay. Um, because ultimately, whilst we're not going to really plump the skin, you're going to get that sort of illusion of plumpness yeah. because the skin is more hydrated. So that's a very important point because with traditional fillers, you will plump it up, you will volumize it. Whereas with Profilo, you are hydrating the skin. So creating that illusion, it's all about illusion ultimately. Yeah. Um, but there is a beneficial physiological effect as well. Absolutely. So you want to go a little bit deep, but also superficial. So yes. like half and half, half and in half, the injection yeah. point. So look, again, we're going to look at this jawline. Is there any point putting any Profilo in this patient's jaw? No, no, not really. In her case, no. Yeah. So like people blindly inject there and they waste good product where she needs it is actually in this yes, area here which is not a traditional place to put it's profile. not a tradition oh my god people are gonna go crazy but look if you know your anatomy above one centimeter above this area if we go deep on bone we're very safe. safe and what profiler will do will volumize this area very subtly and just spread across this area and if she doesn't want botox it's fantastic as an option to just smooth those lines out so we're gonna actually put a little small point there and so you refer to safety in terms of you know, a lot of people avoid the forehead. And in fact, in the, in the templates for Profilo, the forehead is not an area that we inject. The vessels actually in the forehead start very deep here and they become more and more superficial. But not only are they more superficial, we know where they are, but they're actually very, very small. Yeah. Uh, to the point where, where they get to the upper part of the forehead, they're almost hair width. Yeah, hair so, width. I mean, like when we inject and do around this area with hair, hair transplants, transplants yeah. we do get a little bit of spot bleeding within yeah. this area, but it always stops. So I never really stress yeah. too much about it. Um, but obviously people worry because obviously you've got these connections back to the retinal artery within Indeed. this region. So you have to be careful. As long as you stay above so what we consider, consider the line of safety um, and where we know that the arteries and the vessels, the veins as well, uh, become very, very thin and we know exactly where they are. Uh, generally an area that we would avoid injecting would be uh, what we consider the glabella area. These are where the arteries are wide enough to potentially inject Absolute. into. Yeah. And um, you cannot really predict the depth. We know they are deep, but they do vary in that depth. So yeah, this is, I would say, is your no-go area. Our You're red zone. Really, and I wouldn't do it, but profile it. People have this depression and they worry about this kind of line that sits there and even the Botox doesn't even sort it out, but mm. Profile is fantastic for that. Yeah. So I inject a lot of patients with that there. Yeah. Um, look, here you've got one, two, three, four. There's a fifth point. Look, where she got her shadows? Just here, right? Yeah. So I would say lateral labial mental crease. You worry about that area. There's not really much going on in terms of deep in that region. Obviously, you've got to be careful of the mental nerve within this area, and it can yeah. be a little bit more uncomfortable. But definitely, I would always come like over here, and this is what I do. So just in front, of this marionette line, so just in, in essentially in front of the labial mental retaining yes. ligaments, and you will see that the product will just disperse nicely yeah. just across this area. And actually, in fact, you can also get a bit of a lift here from that as well. You get your myomodulation. Myo there we go. So, so Don Solomon's favorite thing. We may even do a video on that myomodulation. We see indeed. it live in practice. So look, this is a bespoke treatment for Profilo for this patient. Now we're going to perform it live, and then yeah. I'm going to do one side. 
or someone's going to do the other side. So we are going to come in here, but very superficially, and we are aspirating. So you can see that little bubble. And then we're going to fixate nicely, making sure we're in the right plane. So in and terms of depth, the ore. Oh, I am so superficial. You, you should see the outline. The skin just pop up. And obviously, people worry about this because mm. they're like, oh my God, what the hell's happening? I look like a horn. You look, the product can even come out. That's yeah. absolutely normal. In fact, that's a good sign. That's a good sign that you are in the right plane in this area because the muscle is so thin and the skin is so thin in this area. So 0 0.2, and it just literally, that should come up like that. And that's a good. Um, superficial injection in that region okay so now we've got this area and we're gonna definitely come down on bone and then a good aspiration again so we can see the aspiration there we are on bone so this is one of the filler injections in this area the profiler injection rather that we're gonna place on bone and then also just a very small slow injection and you will see the product travel up anyway which is fine because we know we're placing it on bone and it's traveling naturally up and that is another 0 0.2 mils taking us to 0 0.6 and then you slowly withdraw and you can see a little bit of blood there and that's absolutely fine we yeah. know we're very safe so you can see that we went through a blood vessel, which is absolutely fine, yeah. but we had a look at it and it's yeah. just uh, absolutely fine. So this is a beautification point one. So we're coming here. In fact, we know that there's not really much blood vessels, that no many blood vessels over here in the lateral side. Yeah. Magic, and so, so you're in muscle. Yeah. Uh, I'm in muscle, like I'm lying on the bone, but what I'm gonna do is literally come out. So I'm gonna come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I come out. That's it. So I'm literally causing my modulation. So we're gonna lift this tail of the brow. This is lifting too. Mm. We're gonna now do that little small injection yeah. into the souf within this area. So again, we know that we're deep on bone. So this is deep injections of profiler that people yeah. really don't look at. It's like advanced profiler. Um, so again, we're gonna come here, little small injection. And that's it, deep on, in that fat pad, enough. And now we're gonna come very superficial. And this is the one, unfortunately, for patients that sting a bit. So you see her flicker. So half of it's very deep and half of it's very superficial. Yeah. Okay. Final injection, deep on bone over here. And again, then into the fat compartment afterwards. Yeah. So again, we've gone deep, little bolus. And then we're gonna come out super superficial. And there we are. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, we're good, Alex. So aspirating. Again, we're on bone here, we know we're safe. And then just slightly withdrawing. And again, tail of the Perfect. brow. We're gonna be very superficial. Just there, aspirate again. There are a lot of veins here. Now veins can be a nuisance, but they're not of concern. Or that they might be of concern to the individual because of some bruising that can occur, but. Okay, yeah, that's good. So that was our profiler treatment, the bespoke Dr. Metaspot profiler treatment. Anna, how do you feel? It was a bit stinging, but I feel comfortable. Okay, good. Yeah, it does sting because there's no there's no lidocaine in it. There's and just hyaluronic. Absolutely, acid. So answer, lidocaine numbs, right? you answered the question I was going to ask. All oh, right. Uh, so <laughs> oh, sorry. profiler sorry. will <laughs> sting a bit more. And Anna, you've had fillers, uh, traditional hyaluronic acid fillers um, with anesthetic, and it does feel different. Um, Profiler does not have any local anesthetic in it. It's actually how the company that makes Profiler uh, creates that high concentration because there is no space for the local anesthetic um, 
a drug in it. So uh, you get more hyaluronic acid, but in return, the cost of that is a bit more of a sting because of the lack of local anesthetic or the lidocaine. Yeah. Um, what happens next? Well, what happens next is that you wait, um, actually even anywhere between two to four weeks, and then you have a second session. Again, identifying areas that may need a little bit more work. But I think the whole point of this video is that um, actually profilers become like a commodity. People are like, oh, I just do profiler, I do profiler. No, each profiler tr treatment is very different. If you're just using those standard injection points, you're not getting the maximum that you want to get from profiler. Look how we've edited it, not only in location, but also in depth. So uh, she's going to get maximal outcome from it. So if you imagine two of the points, were not appropriate for her. Mm -hmm. So she would have had like 40% less actually results yeah. if she hadn't been injected in this bespoke way. So as long as you know where you're injecting and you're doing it tailored to the patient, you're gonna get good results. After that, most patients come back in six months time for a little bit of a top up. Some patients as little as six weeks if they've got very dry skin or they need a little bit more work. Mm -hmm. But if patients need more work, there are other products out there. So, you know, we're gonna, if you click to some of the other skin booster things, we're gonna talk about that. You have too. a whole series of skin boosters. Whole series of skin boosters. Coming up soon. Definitely.